everyone. I have another book for you today. Here it is. This one is called Big Red Barn. You ready? By the big red barn in the great green field, there was a pink pig who was learning to squeal. There was a great big horse and a very little horse. And on every barn is a weather vane, of course, a golden flying horse. There was a big pile of hay and a little pile of hay, and that is where the children play. But in this story, the children are away. Only the animals are here today. The sheep and the donkey, the geese and the goats, we're making funny noises down in their throats. An old scarecrow was leaning on his hoe and a field mouse was born in a field of corn. You see the little mouse there? And the butterflies. cock a doodle doo Can you make that sound too? In the barn, there was a rooster and a pigeon too and a big white hen standing on one leg, and under the hen was a quiet egg. See the egg there? There was a bantam rooster and a little bantam hen with a big clutch of eggs. Count them, there are 10. Should we count them together? Look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, ten eggs. Cock a doodle doo, moo, moo. There was a big brown cow and a little brown cow. Can you moo like a cow? There was an old black cat, meow, meow, and a tiger tomcat, meow, meow. There was a big red dog, bow wow, with some little puppy dogs all round and warm. You see the puppies and the kittens? And they all lived together in the big red barn. And they played all day in the grass and in the hay. When the sun went down in the great green field, the big cow lowed and the little pig squealed. The horses stomped in the sweet warm hay and the little donkey gave one last bray. There's the donkey. It's becoming nighttime. The hens were sleeping on their nests. Even the roosters took a rest. The little black bats flew away. You see them over there? They're flying. Out of the barn at the end of the day. And there they were all night long, sound asleep. in the big red barn. Only the mice were left to play, rustling and squeaking in the hay, while the moon sailed high in the dark night sky. There's the moon. The end. Okay, well I hope you liked that one. And today I was thinking, we could do a drawing activity about this book. So, just like when we have our notebooks, the first thing we wanna do, right, is think, hmm, what do I want to draw today? And today, I'm thinking about all the animals in this book, and I thought that we could all draw a different animal. We could draw our favorite animal. And I am thinking especially about the little cats in the book. So I think I'm gonna draw a cat today. So I'm gonna start by making a big circle. See my circle? I drew a big circle for the cat's face. And I'm gonna give the cat two ears. Can you show me your two ears? We have two ears just like the cat. There we go. And the cat has how many eyes? Two eyes. Two eyes, so I'm gonna draw two eyes for the cat. And it has 
one nose. There's one nose for the cat. And a mouth. And does anyone know what those hairs that come out by the cat's mouth are called? Whiskers. They're called whiskers. So I'm going to put some whiskers on the kitty cat. There you go. That's my cat. And now I want to label my picture. So I want to write the word cat. So I have to think about all of the sounds that are in that word, right? So the first sound is k, k, k. Does anyone know what letter makes that sound? Yes, it's the letter C. So I'm going to write the letter C right here. C. That's the first letter in cat. The next sound is a, a, a. That's the letter A. C, A. And the last letter in the word cat makes the sound t, t, t. Do you know what sound make, or what letter makes that sound? That's the letter T. For a T to go down and across. So I have the word cat, C-A-T, cat. And I'm gonna write my name on this picture too, so everyone knows who did it. Miss Jessie. And I'm all done. I don't have a lot of colors here, or I could color in the cat and make it lots of different colors. Um, and hopefully you have some markers and some crayons at home and you can do that. I'd love to see your pictures of animals that you draw. If you draw a picture, you could have your mommy or daddy or grandma or grandpa or someone in your family take a picture and send it to me so I can see. Okay, I hope you're all doing well and I miss you lots. Bye, have fun drawing.